A new day is dawning. There's beauty and happiness everywhere. Jump up, destiny's calling. You and your friends have so much to share. Swinging through life on this great adventure, the spirit of nature will see you through. There are lessons to learn about life and its mysteries. Lessons of love that are waiting for you. Look up, there's joy all around you. Nature is wondrous, but beware. The law of the jungle has a lesson for life. But you can still soar right up to the sky. Hold your head up high. Keep your courage inside. And sure as the sun and the stars up above, you will discover love. Jamira. Jamira! There. Mowgli, wherever you are, let your gaze rise up high into the blue sky and see the smoke signal there. It's a signal from us, Mowgli. Head back to Kaniwara tomorrow. Eshwell, you look very tired. Why don't you go and sleep? We'll come back here someday and search for Mowgli. We surely will. I'm certain that we'll find him next time. We'll search high and low. We'll scour the jungle. And we'll call out his name at the top of our lungs. Our voices will echo through the trees. We will find him. But for now, Jamira, we have to go. Your grandfather's right. Come along, Jamira. Jamira? 
coming. Ignore those monkeys and keep walking. Jamira, come drink some water. Hmm? Uh. Uh. No, no, let me go. Please let go. <coughs> Jamira, my love, you're all right. Mowgli rescued you. Mowgli? Mowgli, where are you? Please help me. Poor child. Those monkeys must have given her a terrible fright. She's still not over it. It's all right. Jamira, you're safe now. Those monkeys are gone. Huh? Am I glad to see you, Jamira? Mowgli, and now we're together again. <laughs> we all missed you, my young friend. <laughs> so you came here to bury Sanjay near his old home. That's right, Mowgli. Soon after we arrived in Kaniwara, there was an outbreak of fever. We stayed indoors, fearing the disease, but Sanjay caught it from the drinking water. We called a doctor, but she could do nothing. Father fought the illness, but slowly and steadily it wore down his resistance, until finally it defeated him. We decided to bury Sanjay in the place where he had grown up and been happy, the village he'd loved so dearly. It was a risk. We knew the villagers might still be angry, but we hoped they'd take pity when they saw our plight. We arrived to find the village in ruins, and no one left living here. It was a mystery. Not to me. I knew Mowgli and the animals must have done it. Huh? Tell me, Mowgli. Is my guess right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Why, Mowgli? 
I'll tell you. When I saw what the villagers had done to Jamira, when I saw the pain they were willing to cause, even to their own friends and neighbors, it was then that I realized the villagers must be stopped from doing any more harm. My wolf mother made the decision. We'll march on the village. We won't touch humans. Just knock down their lairs. <laughs> Since that awful day, the jungle has been different, more peaceful. <sighs> you see? I knew it was all Mowgli's doing. It's unbelievable. You chased away men with guns. The rushing animals scared them. They dropped their guns. After that, chasing them away was easy. Those villagers must have been terrified, but I can't pretend I feel very sorry for them after what they did to my family. Come, there's no point in nursing grudges from the past. The important thing is that after all this time, we found Mowgli. And we're grateful for that, aren't we, Jamira? Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> That's where my fields were. They were the envy of the whole village. And right over there, you can see where my neighbor Dalip had his fields. Oh yes, this was good land. <laughs> Jamira, you're laughing. What's so funny? You said it was good land. I laughed because it still is good land, Grandfather. That's true, my love. Hmm. Sanjay used to say we could grow anything but rich on this land. <laughs> say, why don't we plant these fields again? Huh? <gasps> Hmm. You know, that idea isn't as crazy as it sounds. We could start the farm over again. But think of all the work that would involve. Of course. That's probably why I'm so taken with the idea. Our life in Kaniwara has been idle and sad, empty of work to restore our spirits. Now, we have that work. <laughs> I'm so happy we're coming home again. And so am I. <laughs> Hooray, we're coming home. <laughs> this is the pasture where we used to graze our water buffalo. It seems strange without the animals, doesn't it? You run so quickly, but it won't be long before I'm just as fast. Hmm? <laughs> Dear Tamira, she finally looks happy again. We've done the right thing deciding to move back here. I know it will be hard work, Meshwa, but I really think we'll make it. But wait, we have no buffalo. And we certainly don't have the money to buy them. That's true, Meshwa. Without buffalo, how will we plow our fields? What'll we do for milk? <sighs> I don't know. I just don't know. Grandfather, is something wrong? Afraid so, my love. We need buffalo to make our farm a success again. But we can't afford to buy any. You don't need to. You still have your old herd. What? What are you saying? I think he's saying our buffalo are still nearby. They sure are. After the villagers ran away, the buffalo were scared and confused. So the wolves looked after them. They're down by the river. That's wonderful news. Did you hear? What good luck. Not luck. Once again, it's Mowgli's doing. Thanks to him, we have a fighting chance to make our farm a success. <laughs> and we will make our farm a success. You can count on that. It's going to take some work. And I'd say it's time we got started. Right. Jamira and I are behind you. Thanks. Would you like to help us, Mowgli? Who wouldn't miss it for the world? <laughs> <laughs> a good day's work, though I must confess it was Mowgli who accomplished the most. He sure is strong. 
And to think it was only by chance that we found him again. We were very lucky. You're right. But after all the misfortunes we've suffered in the last little while, it was about time our luck took a turn for the better. You know, Meshwa, I think things are finally looking up for us. I hope you're right. And if they are, we can thank Mowgli for restoring our good fortune. Yes, it's true, Meshwa. The boy's been a blessing for our family, and especially for Jamira. Isn't that right, my dear? Uh, well, yes, now that you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> Mowgli? Hmm? Yes? I'll ask you right out. How would you like to live on the new farm with us and become part of our family? What? But... Now think it over. I know it means giving up the freedom you love so much, but perhaps we can offer you something equally precious, a loving human family. What do you say, my young friend? You've already done so much for us. If you'd rather return to the wild, we'll all understand. But... We love you, Mowgli, and if you want a human home, then please share ours. You know, after you went away, I followed you to Kaniwara. I missed you more than I'd ever missed anything in my life. All I wanted was to see your faces again, but bad luck was waiting for me. I never saw you. Oh, Mowgli. Now that you've found us, won't you stay with us? Yes. You really will? That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, Mowgli. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you ought to sit down and rest a while. I'm sure you must be hot and tired. After all, you've been working since dawn. But there's still so much to do, Meshwa. And besides, the harder I work, the better I feel. You'll never learn. I'll bet you'd work at night if you could, hmm? It's true. This is the life I love best. Did you say? There are people coming, but what kind of people? I don't like this. There are six of them, and they'll be here any minute now. Six? Did you say six, Jamira? Who are they? Don't know. I didn't get a good look. But I did count six of them, four grown-ups and two children. What? I'd better check. Be careful. Why, it's my old neighbor, Dalip, and his brother, Amrik. What are you doing here? Well, huh? Is it you? <sighs> hmm. Are you... are you still convinced that my family and I are sorcerers? <sighs> no, Wahar. Please forgive us for the terrible things we did. Yes, forgive us. We all fell under Boldeo's evil influence. He inflamed us with his greed, but now we see how foolish we were. I know you must be angry, but believe me, we've suffered too. We've lost everything. Our homes, our land, even our peace of mind. Please, Wahar, forgive us. Let us return and live in peace again as your neighbors. <laughs> Shh, quiet. <laughs> a high price for their cruelty. Uh, Does that mean you forgive us, Wahar? 
Mm -hmm. oh. oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. Why did you return here, Dalip? There was nowhere else for us to go, Wahar. Since the animals chased us away, we've wandered from town to town. But everybody's afraid of us. They think we're cursed. They've all heard the legend of the jungle boy and his sorcery. Mowgli's no sorcerer. He's an ordinary person. Oh. Oh. Huh? Huh? It's Mowgli with the buffalo. What? The buffalo? He really is a sorcerer. He is not. And I warn you right now, if you ever call him that again, uh -huh. I'm going to be very angry. Mowgli is part of my family now. You treat him with respect. Hi, Mowgli. <laughs> Mother, Grandfather, Mowgli did it. He found all our buffalo. I can't believe it. Our buffalo. Mowgli found them for us. Oh, just look at the size of that herd. Are those all yours, Waha? No, Amri. My herd wasn't that big. Your buffalo are there too, and those of other farmers as well. Mowgli! Hi, Jamira! This is great fun! You want to try? <laughs> you bet! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> A child is learning in nature's special way. He's beginning to see all the beauty in this world today. His eyes. Gleaming at every sight and sound with his innocent heart, he feels that love is all around. But this world can be confusing, and learning can be hard when lessons that you often learn mean danger looks beneath the stars. So take good care of. Friends, and they'll take good care of you. Then we can all live together. And